Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing about lead code problem 1011. This is a classic example of a binary search problem and if you are able to understand the intuition behind this problem, you will be able to solve most of the binary search problem that is in lead code as well as in the company interviews. So without further ado, let's try to understand this problem. You have two cities, one is city A and one is city B and you also have a ship in between. So you have to transfer goods from city A to city B in given number of days. Say you are given two days. So you have to transfer all the goods from city A to city B. So what do you have to find? You have to find the minimum capacity of the ship in order to transfer the goods from A to B. Let me try to explain this with an example. Say you have goods with weight 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you have to transfer these goods from A to B within two days. Okay. And you also have to transfer in the same order. So you have these particular options. So the first option is you will transfer the first good on day one and the remaining on day two. So first day will be transferring one unit of weight. The second day will be transferring nine units of weight. So what is the minimum capacity of the ship that you will be requiring nine. Uh, so uh, the next option is you will transfer 1 and 2 on the first day that is 3 on the first day and the remaining that is 3 and 4 on the next day. So what is the minimum capacity? So it will be 7. Similarly you will transfer the first 3 and the remaining last one on the th uh, second day. So the minimum capacity in this case will be 6. So what is the minimum of all these 3? It is 6. So the answer to this solution will also be 6. I hope you understood the problem. So let us quickly dive into what are the observation that you are able to make. So the first observation that you will be make is the what is the minimum quantity that the ship should have. Say you have uh, the weights right in, uh, in order to transport all the weights say even if you want to transport just one weight a day you will be requiring four because you have to transport four at any given day. So four will be the minimum weight or the minimum capacity of this ship and what will be the maximum capacity say you are given just one day and you have to transport all of them so the maximum capacity of the ship will just be the sum of all of this so now you have a range the minimum that is equal to the maximum of this array and the next that is equal to the sum of the all the weights of this particular array so you now have a range in this particular problem it is 4 and 10 so whenever you have a range, right, you should be like, it's a classical binary search problem. So one thing you can do is you can linearly also do that. Say you will check with four, with weight four, you, will you be able to transfer all the weights in two days? No, you can go to five, you can check it, you can go to six and then again check it. So, but this will take a lot of time. So we will try to eliminate the search space. So let us take a random number here. Let's take eight. So will you be able to transfer all the goods if the capacity of the ship is 8? Yes, you will be able to transport. So there is no need to actually check 9 and 10, right? I mean, if you are able to do it with 8, there is no need to check 9 and 10. So you can easily eliminate the other half of the search space. Similarly, if you take 5, for example, will you, able, will you be able to do with 5? No, you will not be able to do with 5. So you can easily eliminate the other half, that is 4 and 5. So this is the binary search problem without any do uh, let's also dive into the pseudo code of this problem. So uh, the left will be equal to the maximum of this particular array. The right will be equal to the sum of this particular array and we will just initiate uh, the answer. Uh, then we will start a loop and the mid will be equal to uh, the sum of start plus n by 2. Say and this magical function say this will give you if you are able to transport this in this particular days or not. It's a boolean function. It's a magical function. I will come to this function later. But let's think it will give you whether you will be able to transport with this particular capacity or not. So if it returns true, you will be. If it returns false, you won't be. Say you are given, uh, let's dry run this. Say you are given 4 and 10, right? So the mid will be equal to 7. So will you be able to transfer in this in 7 days? Yes, you will be able to transfer. So the answer we will uh, make the answer as 7 so it will either be 7 or lesser than 7 so we can just 
reduce the half space by reducing the n to mid minus 1. It will either be 7 or anything lesser than 6. So, if it is not that, we will increase the search base that is start is equal to mid plus 1. So, now let us get into the magical function that we were talking about. That is will you be able to transport with this particular capacity of the ship or not. So, what is the input to this particular function? The first input is the array itself, then the input is the capacity of the ship, then you will also be requiring the days that is given within the problem only. So, what you will do is in the first example, if you say the capacity of the, this is just an example, the capacity of the ship is 8. So, you can easily put 1. Uh, is the ship completely full? No. Can you put 2? Yes, you can put 2 also. Can you add 3 to the ship without, uh, without exceeding the capacity? Yes. So, can you add 4? No, you won't be able to add 4. So, it will be moved to the next day. So, that is the intuition behind this. So, that is what we will be able, uh, we will be doing in this particular problem. So, we will just uh, initiate current day weight is equal to 0 and the required days is equal to 1 and we will iterate over the array. And if you are able to load this particular good without exceeding the ship's capacity, we will just do that. If not, we will move it to the next day and also increase the required number of days. Okay. So, if required days is actually greater than the days, say if uh, the required days is 3, will we be able to? No. So, we will return false, else we will return true. So, without, uh, I will get into the code of this problem. So, this is the code of the problem that I have solved it on lead code. So, it, it is better. We can actually write this function within this while loop only, but it is better to actually write this outside uh, function. Why? Because in many other problems, it would make the solution very uh, clear and also easier. So, this is the code. I think it's self-explanatory. Let me run this code. and submit also. Ah, uh, yes. So, here is the solution and uh, thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.